we mentioned, summer is here. The kickoff of the summer solstice, it's the longest day of the year. It's when the northern hemisphere is tipped closest to the sun. Of course, we're still learning about this burning star. NASA's Parker Solar Probe is really fascinating. It's preparing for its closest pass of the sun. So in December next year, this probe will be within 5 million miles of the sun's surface. That is the closest the human race has gotten to the sun's surface. Nicole Rail with NASA says, while there aren't any side effects for humans, we also need to know NASA is tracking some extra solar activity in the year ahead. We're going to see more um, interruptions to radio um, and navigation. It could impact power supply and power grids in a very large type of event. And one other thing that we like to think of as we're getting ready to go, you know, back to the moon and beyond with our human crew and astronauts is how we keep our humans that are outside the protective bubble of Earth safe in these events with things like shielding or making sure we don't plan maneuvers or activities that are going on when we have these really active solar events. Science is so cool. We do have two solar eclipses in the next year. You have the Ring of Fire annular eclipse on October 15th and a full eclipse on April 8th next year. And if you want to have interactive materials for maybe the kids this summer, NASA has some that we've linked for you on this web story on the CAMOV News app. Something that I think is pretty cool is it's rare when you get that chance to see one eclipse, but now we get two. We get two. And yeah. she was saying to me earlier when I you know, spoke with her that uh, the 48 continental states, we're all going to have a look at both, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and not all of our area is in the uh, total solar eclipse. So mm -hmm. you kind of have to drive a little bit to the southeast, uh, southeast Missouri, southeastern or southwestern Illinois. You're going to be in it again, which is so cool that some areas have been in it twice. That is so cool. Very cool story about the sun and cool that we have great scientists working on what we don't know because there's still so much of that. Let me show you what we do know with what's <laughs> happening right now here on.